is a photo from Pixabay of some locks of love. And I like this subject because of um, having been to Paris and seeing them on the bridges. And of course, when I saw them, there were just a million of them and they were all very crowded. So this was a much easier picture to paint since there's like two and not 500. So I'm going to begin with some masking. And one of the highlights of this painting will be the metal. So we want to make sure that that is nice and shiny. So I'll mask around some of the outlines, uh, the lock part of it, and probably just the edges of the padlocks and maybe the heart because it's cute. So this is our drawing and I'll just begin masking. Looks like my masking fluid's, not the masking fluid, but the brush is a little on the dirty side. I'm actually going to mask the top of this lock. When we look at the photograph, we'll see how uh, there's quite a lot of reflected light in here. I don't want it to be too dark. And we'll let that dry. For the background, most of the time I like to kind of follow what's in the actual picture uh, because that uh, gives me a good idea of the contrast between the background and the foreground. But this has very little to offer. Uh, it's just kind of um, some grayed out buildings. So I think we will try to stay in this um, value, which is a very light value, but have some color. And so I think I'll use a combination of slate and cloudy blue and quite a bit of alcohol because sometimes if you just drop it straight down, you'll get little stains when it's very pale. So I'm going to put a layer of alcohol on and then drop some of the blue on. A little bit of the gray. Just kind of chase it around here. And I'll let that dry. So this is the dried background. It's very pale, but it's a good start. And I'm going to pull off the masking fluid. And I've got some reds. This is crimson and coral and some eggplant and slate. And I'll probably add some other colors in, but we can get started with these. I'm going to begin with the uh, fence and the slate and the eggplant. And I'm going to put the eggplant in the palette and let it kind of thicken up while I work with the slate. For the chrome part of the lock, I want to make sure I leave the white area is white, so I'm just kind of stay away from those. Now I'll use some of the eggplant and come back in on the darker areas. some eggplant also on this um, back lock and the, the red will go over it but that should darken it a little bit. So this is the crimson. And that is a very intense ink.
I think I'll end up painting over the heart. I'm going to use some alcohol and make a very pale version of this crimson to put over the top of this. And that is not really pale enough, but maybe I'll be able to lift that back off. So I'm going to put it in and then lift it back. This is the cotton swab with alcohol. And that's more like the shade I was looking for. More on the locks. This is the coral. And I'm gonna just put it in on top of where the crimson was. lighter red on this side. Looks like it's expanding a bit there. going to have a slightly larger lock, it looks like. And we'll have to do some lifting over here. This uh, edge is a light edge. I'm going to use a dark marker and darken this piece here. This is a lighter gray. I'm going to use it for an intermediate tone, which is really very similar to the blue. Take some alcohol and I'll just round out this bar. Do the same for the other side. Looks like there's a little pink still left in the brush, so we'll call that an added bonus. And the bar's a little bit uh, mottly. It's pretty dark under here, we'll have to darken that a bit. I'm going to run a brush through the chrome here. Again, attempting to not go over the area that absolutely is white. That looks like I might have failed on that already. This area has a lot of reflected red in it, so I'll have to add some in. Taking some of the red from the palette and I'm going to add it to the inside of this. This is the darker gray marker and we're going to uh, darken up some of the parts that are much darker, which is under here.
I'm going to blend it in a little bit with the brush. And it's really kind of straight across. I'm going to draw in the heart. Do a little lifting with the heart. And the photo has some black lines on both sides of the heart, so they're kind of not precisely put in, so a, a little bit more precisely than I did, so I'll work on it a little bit more. Freehand heart drawing is not my talent. And just a little bit more lifting along that top edge. Mm 